In 1903, the Wright brothers were the first to take an engine-powered aircraft to the skies. And this would ignite a series of innovations that leads us to today, where we can take a flight across the Atlantic like you would a taxi. What you might not know is that this might not have been possible except for the contribution of a man here in a small area of Berlin. And you can still witness that legacy today. Thanks for the information, but I'd like to stay here with you and die. What? Fliegeberg in Berlin literally translates to Flight Mountain. It is a 15 meter high hill that was erected by Otto Lilienthal, who was the first person to make repeated, well-documented flights with heavier than air gliders. It's here that crowds would gather to witness the man defying the laws of physics. From 1896 on, Otto would become world famous because newspapers and magazines across the globe would publish reports of his exploits here. And in that, he really changed the public's perception about the possibility of human flight in the near future. And some say that thanks to that, he in some way invented human flight as we know it today. You know, standing on top of the hill, you can't help to wonder what the crowds must have been thinking at the time when they were watching well, who was essentially a madman trying to fly like a bird. Otto's last flights occurred in the fateful night of August 1896 when he lost control of his glider and fell to his death. His brother, who was always there, rushed to him and reportedly his last words were Opfer müssen gebracht werden, which roughly translates to sacrifices have to be made. Over the course of his life, Otto patented 25 designs of aircraft. And those designs would later inspire other flight pioneers like the Wright brothers, who often quoted Lilienthal as a major source of inspiration. Originally built on the spoils of a brickyard, this site was made to a park bearing his name is 1932. And the memorial that you see on top, which I think really looks like a UFO or a UFO landing site with this weird globe and shape that represents all the flight path that Otto opened with his innovations. It's also a nice cozy park, especially in the spring when the cherry blossom is happening. If the name Otto Lilienthal sounds familiar to you, that's no surprise. Because if you've flown through the now retired Tegel Airport, you have seen his name in big on front of it. But sadly, here and at Tegel, there won't be any flights taking off anytime soon. <laughs>